Hello everyone, it's me Teacher Jane and welcome to my channel. If you are interested in this subject, please consider subscribing and click that notification bell for more updates. Today, we will be discussing Lesson 2 of Week 4, Grade 7 Mathematics, Operations on Decimals. Steps in adding and subtracting decimals. Step 1. Line up the place values of the numbers by aligning the decimal points. Step 2. Add in filler of zeros if needed. Step 3. Add or subtract the numbers as you would like for whole numbers. Step 4. Affix the decimal point aligned with the given. Example. Find the sum of 5.32 plus 3.37. So, step 1, align the decimal points. So, dahil magkakatapat naman sila, no need natin mag-fill in ng mga zeros. So, we add them the usual way from right to left. 2 plus 7 is 9, 3 plus 3 is 6, and 5 plus 3 is 8. Just align the decimal point. Another example, add 0 0.24. Plus 1.108. As you can see, uh, walang katapat yung dulo ng 0 0.24. So, we add 0. And then, add the usual way. From right to left. So, 0 plus 8 is 8. 4 plus 0 is 4. 2 plus 1 is 3. And 0 plus 1 is 1. Now, let's proceed with subtraction of decimals. So, ganun pa rin ang ating uh, steps. Uh, align the decimal point. Add in fillers of zeros. Pag, hindi, pag walang katapat. And then, subtract the usual way. So, example, subtract 5.52 minus 2.3451. So, first, align natin yung kanilang decimal point. So, 5.52 minus 2.3451. So, meron tayong dalawang number na walang katapat. So, lalagyan natin sila ng 0 and then subtract the usual way. So, borrowing tayo. So, 10 minus 1 is 9. So, yung 0 kanina magiging 9 na lang kasi nag-borrow tayo ng 1. So, 9 minus 5 is 4. Next, yung 2 kanina ay nanghiram tayo dyan, kaya 1 na lang yan. But then, 1 cannot be pa rin. So, borrow tayo sa 5. So, 11 minus 4 is 7. So, 5 becomes 4. 4 minus 3 is 1. Then, align the decimal point or just bring down, copy. And then, 5 minus 2 is 3. Now, let's proceed with multiplication of decimals. So, steps in multiplying decimals. First, disregard the decimal point. Multiply the numbers as you would with the whole numbers. Count the total number of decimal places in the factors. The product or final answer should have the same number of decimal places as counted in number 2. Follow rules in multiplying signed numbers. Example, multiply 0 0.19 times 0 0.82. As you could see, 0 0.19 has two decimal places and 0 0.82 is, has two decimal places. So, disregard daw muna natin siya. Now, multiply first 2 to the first factors, 0 0.19, so we will get 38. And then next, multiply 8 to 0 0.19, we get 152. 
And since any number multiplied by 0 is 0. So, then after multiplying the factors, add the product, we get. So, the answer is 0 0.1558. So, tunda, tandaan kung ilan yung total ng decimal place natin sa factors, yun po ang decimal place natin sa ating product. Another example, negative 3.57 times positive 8.6. So, again, disregard muna natin yung decimal place, pati yung sign. So, multiply natin siya the, the usual way. So, negative 3.57 times 8.6. Uh, the product is negative 30.702. Again, in multiplying two numbers with different signs, the product is always negative. Next, we have division of decimals. Steps in dividing decimals. Number one, if the divisor is not a whole number, move decimal point to the right to make it a whole number. And move decimal point in the dividend the same number of places. Number two, divide as usual. Keep dividing until the answer terminates or repeats. Put decimal point directly about the decimal point in the dividend. Example. The car traveled 51.6 miles. How many miles per gallon of gas did it travel if it has 0 0.6 gallon of gas when started to travel. So for solution, 51.6 divided by 0 0.6 gallon. So ilang miles per gal ilang miles per gallon of gas. So divide natin 51.6 divided by 0 0.6. Kung mapapansin natin, yung ating 0 0.6 ay meron siyang decimal point. So we are going to move the decimal point to the right. So, if we move divisor at one place to the right, we need to move the, the decimal point on the dividend also to the right. So, it becomes 516 divided by 6. So, divide natin the, the usual way. So, 51 divided by 6 is 8. 8 times 6 is 48. And then, 51 minus 48 is 3. Bring down 6. 36 divided by 6 is 6. 6 times 6 is 36. 36 minus 36 is 0. So, 5.6 miles divided by 0 0.6 gallon. The answer is... 86 miles per gallon. So, another example. Let's have, find the quotient of 29.3 divided by 4. Kung mapapansin nyo, yung ating divisor is 4. Wala siyang decimal point, so no need to move. So, yung katapat ng 29.3 na decimal natin, doon natin siya ilalagay. And then, divide the usual way. So, 29 divided by 4 is 7. Then, 7 times 4 is 28. 29 minus 28 is 1. And then, bring down 3. Then, 13 divided by 4 is 3. Then, 3 times 4 is 12. 13 minus 12 is 1. So, meron tayong remainder. So, we add 0. So, bring down 0 becomes 10. 10 divided by 4 is 2. 2 times 4 is 8. Then, an add another 0. 0, then bring down tw 0. 20 divided by 4 is 5. 5 times 4 is 20. So, the quotient is equal to 7.325.
Good evening. Thanks for coming. Please don't forget to leave a thumbs up comment and subscribe.